Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to Be With Me. We're studying in the book of Ephesians. We're in episode number 43. I'm going to title today, Jason Kolb's Legs Were Ready. And that is, his paralyzed legs were ready to stand. Here's where I get this. This is from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13 through 16. I'm going to tell his story with his permission today. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand firm. Stand, therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness which is given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith, which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. All right, so much has been written about my skiing friend, Jason Kolb, and rightly so. Uh, for those of you who don't know the story, I'll put the link in the in the blog blurb. Um, but the, the short part of this is uh, we were skiing out in Colorado as a group. We were on a spiritual retreat of interest, studying the book of Ephesians. And after a number of weeks, weeks of home study, we gather together on the mountaintop and ski and have a good time together. Well, uh, Jason was skiing and got a uh, T10 paralysis with a fall and a bunch of fractures, and he was all, uh, all, all beat up. And he did not know that the, the moment that he was skiing was going to be his moment to stand. That is, there was this bad circumstance that happened um, in, in an instant, at least as far as we, we could see, and the question was, was he going to be ready? And the short answer is he did an absolute incredible job. And I uh, felt a burden to tell the story because uh, I was so close to it and found him calm and praying and quoting scriptures and grateful to the Lord and grateful to the people around him and, and thankful for the people that were ca- uh, caring for him, uh, that that his Christian character and his trust in the Lord was tested in, in a way that that was just uh, incredible and was found to be true. So he had this very bad circumstances, and the question was, would he be ready? And, you know, ironically, we live in a world where God does allow evil and fallenness and sickness and injury um, and, and even death all within his sovereign will. Of interest, our passage today says, in all circumstances, armor up and all circumstances be be ready well the good ones yeah those those are the fun ones but but here as a as a wonderful example of a of being a bad situation and a bad example so this doesn't mean that god has fallen asleep or he's fallen off his throne um so so jason in this moment one second he wasn't paralyzed and the next second at least as far as we could see that, that he was uh, paralyzed. Job had the same experience, and Jason's not the only one, um, and said that the, though he slay me, though though bad things happen to me, still I will trust him, still I will uh, hope in him. That's from Job 13, 15. So this, uh, this story resonates with, with lots of people because we all ask the question, well, well, what about me? Will I have the faith to withstand an onslaught like this? And the short answer is, Absolutely not, definitely not, unless you're ready, unless you're prepared. So before this, Jason knew God. He knew, um, you know, he knew what army he was in. He knew what team he played for. He had already signed up. That is, that is by salvation. This wasn't his first day. It was his manyth day. I don't know what day it was for him, but he was arm, arm, armored up, spiritually ready, which is what this passage uh, talks about. So he was prepared. And so the irony is that his feet were spiritually ready to re- to receive, uh, to endure this physical uh, impairment. So as for, for shoes, I just love that this passage talks about shoes and, and legs functioning and the readiness. So, so his legs were ready. His legs are still standing today um, in, a, in a spiritual way. So in this circumstance of physical paralysis, we find Jason to be an armored warrior still standing, in fact, st- standing taller and stronger than he uh, he ever has before. So in a time of physical and earthly uh, 
fallenness, figuratively, he is standing, um, he is doing exactly what this passage is asking, which is to, to stand and stand firm and hold your ground. Um, so in this time of earthly fallenness, physical paralysis, we find him spiritually standing. So his legs don't work, but spiritually he is standing tall. And what what seemed sudden to us was seen long ago by a trustworthy, sovereign God worthy of entrusting ourselves to. So he's got a circumstance that obviously he wouldn't chose us. Nobody would choose the circumstances. But he found finds himself known and chosen by a God which is more uh, important. So his, his legs don't work, but he's standing. And he's got spiritual legs that that uh, that are standing tall. And for the preparation ideas, he was standing before and he continues to stand now. So the, so this was an, a sudden occurrence in a sense that he'd been readying him for self, himself for trouble, and, and in this case a, a physical impairment. Uh, he'd been readying himself for this for decades. So he has this dramatically injured body that we find is still standing. So, all right, so in conclusion, this is a disturbing sto- story. And Jason uh, and Amy say that Jason's legs are like megaphones. So this has been a challenge to every single person who has heard the story. And everybody asks, kind of in their in their heart, they say, well, how would I react to, to, to this? Where one second I'm not paralyzed and the next second I am paralyzed. Or one second I you know, don't have cancer and the next minute the doctor tells me I have cancer. Would I, can I stand? Are my feet ready? In all circumstances, verse 16 says, in all circumstances, the good circumstances, rainbows and puppies, yeah, but also the bad ones. So when I get, you know, paralyzed or whatever, when an evil day comes, will will I be able to stand when trouble comes? And what will my faith look like when it is tested? What will my feet look like when I'm paralyzed? Will my feet be ready? So if that's you today, do business with God, believe, agree, repent, and receive. And for those who are in the uh, in the army, the idea is to get armored up, be aware, and be ready for this. And then, please, if you would, come back tomorrow, and we'll talk more about how specifically to armor up. Jason's Kolb's legs were ready to stand. Thanks for listening.